You look into the circle and you find out your true self, your fears, your doubts, your loves, your desires. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's make this thing in geometry nodes, okay? Um, I saw this on the uh, loading icon subreddit and I thought, oh, this is interesting. It uh, looks complicated, but it's not really. Okay, let's make the thing, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Geometry nodes, apply it to the cube, get rid of the cube. And uh, there's two ways to do this, a simple way and a hard way. I'm gonna leave the hard way for a Patreon exclusive. I'll show you the easy way to make this uh, very sexy loading icon. So we're gonna start off with the star which kind of seems like a weird move it's like what does this have to do with the the shape bear with me take the star increase the number of points until you have more points than you had before and i'm gonna take the radius and make it so that both these numbers are hover hovering around one so like 1.2 and you can make this like 0.9 i'm just making sure that these are very close to their like circular thing i don't know take this and send it through a fillet curve and what this is going to do when we set it to poly and we limit the radius and we increase the count, as you can see, it kind of creates this uh, sine wave that goes along the circle. I am so congested. Somebody help me. <laughs> um, but you can see it creates this uh, sine wave along the uh, circle, which almost is what we want, except we need two of these and we need it to only show up in some areas. So this is why we started off with a star uh, to make two of these nothing fancy i'm just going to take a transform node and uh, make two copies one is the original and the other is the transform and the transformed version is just going to be rotated by some number that looks like it's like a braid okay so now we have two of them and then finally we need to make it appear only in some areas so we need some kind of function uh, I, I, I'm sorry, by the way, I, I can't help sounding like a nasally boy. It's just what's going on. Uh, we need some kind of function that sends it to a circle in some areas and keeps it as is in other areas. So let's uh, think about how to do that. I already forget how to do it, so we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to figure it out together. Uh, so I'm going to set position because we want to reset what this looks like. So every time we move points, we're using a set position node uh, using the original position. So nothing has changed so far before, or after, you know, nothing. We need to turn this into a circle. If you think about it, think about this as a coordinate system with X and Y and all this. Uh, to make this a circle, we want all the points to be equidistant from the center. And right now, there's kind of a wave thing going on. So if we could somehow normalize the uh, distance, that would be what we want. Luckily, in vector math, there's literally something called normalize. So <laughs> there you go. And uh, we want to have a kind of a transition between these. So we take this, and I'm going to mix it with the original position. So before, after you can see it kind of closes in like that. And uh, just to make this a bit nicer, I'm gonna center it around one. So it's gonna go from 0.8 to 1.2. So they're both 0.2 away from the, do you, do you know what I mean? They're both 0.2 away from the thing. So there we go. And now all we need to do is make a, uh, a thing that says have this transition be active in some areas and unactive deactivated is a word uh in some areas so to do that i want to have a uh, kind of something that tells me the angle of how far around the circle we are uh to do that again there's a hard way to do this but i'll show you the easy way that gives us a bit less control uh, i tried to type in radial Use a gradient texture, set it to radial. What this is, is it doesn't show it, but it gives us the angle from 0 to 2 pi. Or 0 to 1, I think, actually. And what we could do is if we just plug this in directly. Yeah, so it actually starts in this direction. You can see it starts at 0, and then it opens up until we're at 1. Uh, if we take this now and do a bit of modification, then it will be animated and done. So let's make those modifications. First of all, I'm going to send it through a color ramp node. I'm going to start it off closed on both ends and open it up in the middle. So when it's set to white, it means open. Black means uh, closed. And we can uh, actually clamp. Uh, we can say how short do we want this to be, as you can see. So I'm just going to pick two numbers uh, that look good. I don't want it to be huge. Something like that. And uh, if we now, you want to imagine that this is the input that's getting filtered through the color ramp. 
if we now do an addition, you can think of that as kind of a transformation. Um, only issue is it disappears when we go to negative numbers and it disappears when we go above one. So I, I know you already know, easy fix, uh, add a fraction node. What this does is if we go below or under one, it re resets it to the zero to one interval and makes it nice and smooth. So uh, let's take this, animate it using a time node. Boop, like that. By the way, we could have also used a vector rotate node uh, to do this, but I think this is a bit cleaner. Uh, so we'll do it like this. We'll make it three times as slow, and voila, we have the final result. Well, it's not the final result. We got to use a, a curve to mesh node using a circle as the profile, and then we'll be done. Bring down the radius. Okay. I think that almost looks good. It's a bit glitchy, so I'm going to make it thinner. Um, so there you go. That's the uh, that's the tutorial. <laughs> uh, let me let me wrap this boy up. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I sound like I got run over by a. I don't know. I'm sorry I sound congested. Uh, either way, thank you for watching. As and as always, Patreon. Oh, <laughs> give me air. <laughs> uh, I always like to pimp out uh, the ever living cologne out of. Uh, Patreon at the end of these. So three benefits you get when you join the Patreon. One, uh, you get early access to tutorials. You could have seen this video early. Two, you get the blend files. Uh, you didn't need to make this yourself. You get access to hundreds of blend files for just $5, everything since 2019. Download this, download other stuff. And uh, thirdly, and this is the one relevant for this tutorial, ugh, uh, exclusive tutorials. Those are available only on Patreon. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make uh, this result again, but kind of not using gradients and not using the star. We're going to make everything custom. I'm basically pegging a sine wave along a circle is the idea. Pegging is a word. Either way, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and uh, hopefully I can breathe soon. That would be cool. <laughs>